Tens of thousands of students across the country who registered to take the SAT this month now have to find another test date. Many sites are closed because of COVID-19 safety measures. Some are open, but at limited capacity. A lot of families in Hampton Roads are affected by this, and Nico Clemens spoke with some of them. Parents are upset. No calls, no anything, just an email. The college board said nearly 180,000 of the more than 400,000 students who registered to take the SAT and SAT subject test later this month can't. That's because testing centers are closing left and right because of the coronavirus pandemic. Many of those that are staying open reduced their capacity. Megan White's daughter is a senior at Gloucester High School. She registered to take the August 29th test at Bethel High School in Hampton. A few days ago, the Whites got an email that the test was canceled and they would get their money back. Okay, so what are they supposed to do? Because I know a couple of the schools that she's applying for aren't waiving the SAT so far. Testing sites closed in eight cities across our area. The College Board says schools and test centers make their own call about whether to administer the SAT. It is nerve-wracking not only as a student, but as a parent. The director of media relations for the College Board says they secured backup locations and they too were faced with the difficult decision to close. The College Board added a week in SAT administration and an SAT school day administration in September. A spokeswoman for Newport News Public Schools says the regional SAT representative moved all students who were registered for the August testing to the October 3rd test date. September dates are canceled and Hampton City Schools encourages its students to continue to register for upcoming test dates. White says more testing dates and locations are needed. Less students would be going to the same one that so would be, you know, more available for the kids to get it done. They're like many families and schools trying to navigate through uncertainties and find a solution in the end. In Newport News, Nico Clemens, 13 News Now.